robotic-assisted laparoscopic posterior bladder diverticulectomy. A 63-year-old male with recurrent urinary tract infections underwent a CT scan revealing a large posterior bladder diverticulum. Even with urethral catheter drainage, the bladder diverticulum remains distended with urine. A cystoscopy was performed and the neck of the bladder diverticulum identified. Its proximity to the right ureteral orifice is noted. Laparoscopic ports are inserted similar to robotic prostatectomy and a survey is performed. Distension of the bladder and diverticulum may prove useful. Identification of the bladder diverticulum may be difficult from an intraperitoneal approach. If necessary, the intraperitoneal lights are dimmed and the cystoscope is introduced into the bladder. It is then navigated into the diverticulum to illuminate and identify it. Note the location of the diverticulum identified earlier and the overlying vas deferens. The procedure is begun by incising the posterior peritoneum. Observation of anatomic landmarks is recommended, including the vas deferens coursing horizontally at the bottom of the screen and the right medial umbilical ligament seen here. As the dissection continues posteriorly and laterally, the right external iliac artery is encountered. Blunt and sharp dissection, along with judicious use of cautery, is used to clear the perivesical fat from the diverticulum. Small vessels are cauterized and large vessels clipped as necessary during the dissection. Appropriate planes can be developed using this technique to dissect the diverticulum circumferentially. As the dissection proceeds, the assistant ports are used to aid in exposure and provide counter-traction for the robotic instruments. The diverticulum is eventually dissected down to reveal a small neck. Passage of a guide wire and a council tip catheter into the diverticulum can help in identification and dissection of the neck. Once the diverticulum has been skeletonized and freed of its attachments, the neck can finally be transected. A council tip catheter again helps identify the neck during transection. The cystotomy can be seen here. The bladder is reconstructed using two layers of 2-0 vicral suture. The first layer closes the mucosa of the bladder. A second layer of 2 ovicral suture is placed in an imbricated fashion to ensure a watertight closure.
Estimated blood loss was minimal. Total operative time was 122 minutes. Total robot time was 52 minutes. The patient was discharged home the following day with an indwelling urethral catheter. Robotic-assisted laparoscopy provides an ideal approach for posterior bladder diverticulectomy.